the 15th of December. That means it's the 15th day of Advent, which means it is day 15 of the 24 days of Chocomus. Five Advent calendars, one chocolate per day from each. That's five chocolates a day by my reckoning. My maths is getting better. I can almost divide 24 by three now. It is, it is many chocolates, many days. There are a few left to go, and we're not going to get to the end of them if I don't get to the beginning of day 15. So I'd better open door 15. Hmm. Am I going to open door 15 of the less nice one first? Yes. Yes, I am. That way I can suffer this chocolate while enjoying opening other doors. Door 15 of Am Your Her Sithmus. That's like, she said Sithmus. My God, the more I do this, the more I'm losing the power of proper English speech. Door 15. What's behind door 15? It's a robot dog. I saw a documentary that said the Atat started life looking more like proper evil military vehicles. And then they went, oh, let's make them look like dogs. Dudes, why? I mean, they are iconic, but mm, why? And the chocolate is, the chocolate is a square with a nondescript generic um, Christmas shape on it, or a wintry scene. Or in fact, an evil duck-billed snowman, Al Capone. Mm. Prohibitionary. Right. Door 15 of We Could Be Heroes. Yes, I'm going to list off what these are as I open them today. Cadbury's Heroes share good times. Door 15 has got today's hero behind it. Ah, oh, which is E. Claire again. E. Claire, taking a break from zapping everything with electricity to now become environmental champion. And frankly, that is something we should all admire and applaud. I'm also going to chew it, surely. Aero Bliss. Never before in the field of human chocolate has a confectionery been so inappropriately named. Aero Bliss, door 15. Door 15. It's a door, it has a 1 and a 5 on it, and I cannot see it. Oh dear, what a pity. Maybe I will have to not do door 15 today. It's got to be here somewhere. Yeah. It's, it's the way the light's reflecting off it, I swear. I, I haven't gone blind. I think I know what one of the next days is going to be. I just don't know why it's hiding there. Mm. Door 20, not a surprise. This one, however, is the salted caramel. The current companion to Prosecco that everybody simply must constantly have salted caramel. It's kind of caramel with salt in it. It's not bad. I'm just not getting the hype. Our continentally inspired chocolate du jour is, is, is probably going to involve cocoa. Ah, uh, it's a vanilla truffle. A vanilla truffle centre, encased in both dark and white chocolate, and expertly hand-finished. These are getting repetitive, but then what do you expect more than halfway in? They don't have 24 different chocolates. I have a feeling I wasn't sold on this one previously, or maybe this is the one I was, and it was another white chocolatey one I wasn't. So I'm not the most biggest fan of white chocolate. And that's that. And today's quality. Is it going to be high? Is it going to be low? Is it going to be average? It's going to be behind door 15, whatever it's going to be. And it's... Tell me that's a fudge. Tell me that is a fudge. I think that's a fudge. I'm not going to look at the back of the box. I'm going to surprise myself with disgusting ability. There, then, are today's chocolates. And... I don't know how to go about the eclair. It's incredibly chewy. It takes me a long time to chomp through it before I can speak again. This you may consider a good thing, but then think all you're going to be doing is spending five minutes listening to somebody loudly chewing toffee. <sighs> Let's have this one first. Be a fudge. Be a fudge. Oh god, please be a fudge. I think it's a fudge. The quality streets have all bloomed, and this calendar was looked after. I, I well, you know, I bought it and I, I put it in a corner and I wrapped it in a blanket and I sang it lullabies at night. No, this calendar has been well looked after, and yet the chocolate is all a little bit like it's been. Not. Oh, thank God. <laughs> it was an awful moment when I felt the chocolate give way and I thought, oh crap, it's a cream. Mm. I might get that on a t-shirt. Mm. Kind of average fudge in kind of below average chocolate. Not terrible, not great. Better than the Star Wars thing. Can I be bought? No, I'm not going to bother with the ginger one yet. Let's go on to the tip. Today's tip is slightly salty and kind of caramel. 
That's what it looks like on the inside. That was what it looked like on the outside. I don't dislike salted caramel. I just, I just don't think I go a bundle on the Nestle chocolate it's covered in. Um, yeah, it's kind of okay. I'm in a savoury mood. This is okay. Not really only the salt bits. I just want to sit here with tweezers picking the salt out to eat and then throw the rest away. That's not a good endorsement of the chocolate. Well, I'll do that one last. That's my decision. So I'm going to cleanse my palate. That's my excuse anyway. And I'm going to go for the vanilla truffle. I can't remember what I thought of this one last time. I don't know what it looks like on the inside. And I will attempt to describe the flavour to you. Mm. I'm not feeling blown away by vanilla this, but yeah, that's actually quite nice. It must be one of the other white chocolate involving ones I didn't like. That's just having to double check. That's quite yum. And on to environmental Claire. Um, don't worry, I'm sure she will be back. A little bit concerned that she comes in a plastic wrapper considering her environmental credentials. Can I... Oh yes, it's a bit chilly today. The inside of an eclair. All you have is a big outer shell of chocolate with a small bit of toffee in the middle. No, you don't. That's the wrong way around. That's Clarie. All you have is an outer shell of toffee well, a small amount of what I presume is dairy milk on the inside, but for some reason the dairy milk does not taste the same as other dairy milks. And I don't know if it's something to do with the manufacturing process or the toffee leaching into it, or if it's special dairy milk that only is, is a secret, only known to people eating eclairs. But, because I now have toffee stuck to my tooth, I'm going to drink up and sod off. See you tomorrow. <laughs>